I'm not gonna lie, this is different. You know, I never had to pump in the front. You're doing cranium four, four, four. That's a nice number to play. Let's see how much it takes. We got a quarter left in the tank, so let's see what it costs to fill this puppy up. There you go, $56.76, 12 gallons. That's what a quarter tank left. Not bad, not bad at all. Movie night, back with another clit acid. I'm your host, Easy. Welcome to Call Language Jim. This is up for a debate. 2017 Porsche 911 Carrera with 20 to 40,000 miles for $100,000 or a 2019 Camaro ZL1 for let's say 66 grand. That's kind of what they run roughly right now with let's say 7,500 miles. I looked on Auto Trader and you could probably get a better deal on it as well. But yeah, let's say 70, 70 for the ZL1, just to be fair with the 911 because 100 that's a steep sticker price granted it's a porsche but let's do a quick tour on both and you guys tell me what you think is it too much money for base 911 keys insert key this is a key keeping your pocket uh auto start etc push button start let's compare exhaust sounds this is both of them <laughs> So as we take a look, of course, it's aggression versus subtleness. The performance and for the price, it's damn near less than half the price. Brand new, half the price. That's not a bad deal. The Camaro, like I said, it's like an, an underdog. And it's not because I have it. It's just, look, muscular, great looking, quad exhaust. Versus the base model. Rectangular exhaust. It's nice, don't get me wrong, I love the look. So, as we go around the wheels, we got definitely a nice setup, 20s. These are Eagle F1s. 285s in the front, 305s in the rear. Here we got the Pirelli P0s, 19 inch. 285s in the front, 305s in the rear. Let's talk about this interior. I'm gonna be honest. It looks flat. It's starting to look a bit dated. That's just my opinion. Again, this is just the comparison in price. Like, is it worth it? Like, would you not consider a ZL1? When we open, the ZL1 is definitely a lot more animated in here. And it's very very simple i love the integration with the temperature control dials back seat i don't know who's worse you guys know what the engine bay looks like on the porsches porsche it's porsche i can see the comments already that's all you see that's all you see camaro we know what it is. I ain't got to show you, but I'm just saying, again, up for a debate. I know a lot of people are going to say, a lot of people are going to say the Porsche, but you're going to, you know, you might have people second guessing. Is the Porsche the, the right buy? Oh, man, I'm doing this with one hand. Look at that. It's a bit dusty. She's still in the shop. We waiting on parts to, to finish the body work. But I could watch and gaze at this all day. And we know what it is. Supercharge. That ain't supercharge. That's turbocharge. Supercharge. I'd rather supercharge. Would you rather? Another question. Comment down below. Let me know. It's a lot of people that's going front right now and say, Oh, I'd rather the, the Porsche due to gas. I get it. But... 
This is a, a smooth incognito ride. It's fast. That right there is an experience. Like, let's say someone with <laughs> some intelligence, <laughs> and I'm just being funny with it, will, will go for the Porsche because it's a lot subtle. When they drive the Camaro, they're going to be like, oh, no, this is way too much for me. Unless they're looking at a Turbo or Turbo S. <laughs> but let me know what you think. Let's look at storage. I've always loved the trunk in the front, the engine in the back. That's very exotic. Again, you know, we're comparing exotic to to brute. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't mean to kind of, you know, and I'm not talking to you Chevy guys. I'm not trying to play y'all because I'm a Chevy. I'm a Chevy gang. Storage is not bad. We got a little bit of storage in the rear as well. A little bit of storage in the rear. Of course, you would have to move the seat up and you can't put nothing sharp back here. To whereas, you can fold the seats down in the ZL1 and this is what you get as far as storage goes. And you can fold the seats down. You know what y'all think? Look at the interior. We got ZL1 embroidered with Caro chairs. Now, the 911 still is a show with comfort. I think I would rather sit in a 911 for a, a long trip than I would the ZL1. 911 in comfort all day. As far as the tech goes, I'd rather the tech in the ZL1. It's much more user friendly. It's kind of like comparing iPhone to Android. Sorry, Porsche, that's a shot. It's, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's much more simpler in the ZL1. That's just my personal opinion. And again, just, just look at the interior. Like I said, it's, it's not bad looking. It's just maybe I would have had a different opinion if it was like a beige or peanut butter, even a dark blue. Sometimes that dark blue and chrome mix is beautiful, beautiful. But I think black is not the color for this interior. But I love my ZL1. Another part that I give to the 911 accessing the the rear so with, to access the rear in the camaro you got to pull on this lever here and you pretty much got to retract the passenger seat forward got to retract the passenger seat forward you'll you'll be here for for days doing that you know versus the 911 you got this latch here it's a bit flimsy but you know it works. It works to perfection. Something to point out. We got a nice roof. That's nice. Visibility is great in here. Uh, but who cares? So what? You can't see in the back. Remember, that's only because the car is off. But when the car is on, we have a camera. This car is optioned out. Like, this car has uh, ventilated seats. A base Carrera 911 doesn't. Cameras to see the rear. A base 911 Carrera doesn't. Granted, it doesn't need it, but another floor, blind spot. Carrera 911 doesn't have blind spot. Camaro Z01 has blind spot. I'm just saying, this is not a bad deal. We definitely got, this is a great value that's all i'm just saying give the zl1 the credit it deserves i love this seal here i wish it would have said something more like a zl1 because they all say that and that's where the zl1 lacks by a long shot there's so many trim levels to the camaro where a lot of people don't notice it where the porsche is a few trim a few trims as well too but the wow factor of a porsche it's there the status again this could have had that status imagine if every other camaro let's say let's say the zl1 and the zl1 1le 
would have looked like this and every other Camaro would have looked different. Let's throw in the SS in there as well too. The SS, Z01, and the uh, 1LE, just those three. And everything else would have just been a different car. Who knows? That right there would have would have would have been a great step towards good marketing. There's only three trims that you could get. But when there's a V4, when there's a a four-cylinder Camaro out there, you know, who wants to look at this? Like a lot again, only car enthusiasts go crazy when they see my car. Points for the 911. Status, presence, it's a fairly well balanced car whereas the ZL1 is just a beast again we're talking price right now so we got comfort comfort I'd rather the 911 if it's for comfort speed I'd rather the ZL1 performance I'd rather the ZL1 status the Porsche. Price, the ZL1. Importance, the 911. Camaro ain't got it there. Again, Chevy dropped the ball by a long shot. The driving, I'll tell you the driving aspect. Coming from a ZL owner, driving a base Carrera 911. Let's go. The 911, smooth. This is like an office compared to a construction site. You know, the, the ZL1 is the construction site. This is an office, very personal. You know, you're very isolated from everything. A little bit of road noise, but nowhere near, nowhere near the ZL1. I asked the wife, I said, so does a 911 look like me? And she was like, nah, this car, the, a 911 ain't you, the, the Camaro is you. You're much more, you know, it, it fits your character more. Aggressive, big, etc. You know, this is like low key, you know, for someone, doctor, you know, a lawyer. I can see why a lot of them got it. But, you know, again, I love this car. I definitely have fun with it. Uh, MPG was great. The performance was good. The look love the presence everybody gazes at this car every time they see it you definitely get the thumbs up the the you know where the zl1 is just like damn you know it's like the the adopted child no disrespect to anybody not wrong with adopted kids it's just you you're always gonna have that favorite you know <laughs> as as messed up as that sounds bad analogy bad example but I feel like that's what the... And people know, you know, uh, a lot of you are going to say, but what are you talking about? The ZL1 does get respect. And that's true. But it was just that marketing was bad. Like, I feel like, you know, you don't even see that car at all. Like, it's, it's, it's rare. You you know, you see a ZL1. Like, it's a sight to see when you do see one. It goes without saying. Two different drives. Yeah, I, I do like the visibility in here. It's cool, you know, but we've graduated from having to look to the back to looking at a camera. So that's, you know, a win for the Camaro. And I'm gonna assume Porsche wants you to kinda, you know, still have that driving experience. So that's kinda maybe the reason why they don't, hold on, I'm waiting for, for a friend. Got the bodyguard with me. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's the reason why Porsche doesn't really maybe put a lot of tech in in the cars because they want you to have that, that sports car driving experience. That's kind of the reason why the key is on the left-hand side. You know, back in the days it was start the car and throw it in gear right away. That's cool, you know, I, I kinda, I, I, you know, you, Let's say like the new generation would laugh at that, but again, it's a car, you drive it. You you want that, that full blown sports car thrill experience, all of that and more. And I like how Porsche ex executes that, even in their base model. Again, no, no jab, it's just, we gotta give credit when credit's due. 
the ZL1 is a great value. It's a great value. I think it's a better value than this. Me personally, like I said, only if I could afford like a turbo or turbo S. That's the only way where I would I would go for it. And it would definitely be a you know I, I really don't want to go not on a sports car. Let's say five years back, I want to at least be you know somewhat up to date. Like let's say the last body style. 19 and up and even now like the 19 is starting to feel old oh, like you 2019 that's you know three years ago so that's another slight flaw you know and then the price let's talk about the price elaborate on that a little bit you know you're talking about a hundred thousand eighty thousand you know with 80 grand you could get a brand new 2022 zl1 one le you know, let's say 85. Look what you're getting, though. You know, and it's definitely not a car that that you're going to see out there. Granted, the Porsche, when it pulls up, especially a 911, like, you could tell it came in from a 911. You can't com uh, uh, confuse them. You know a 911 from a, from, from a Cayman. The 911 is that flagship. Yes, is that, that status. Again, it's everything and more. But the ZL1 is special, and I'm, I'm, I'm super upset at the fact that the ZL1 is kind of like the underdog. You know, it's not, you know, it's just underappreciated. It is what it is. Uh, I hope that that car gets the recognition it deserves later on in the future. On that note, let's jump into the ZL1. So driving the ZL1 in comparison to the Nueve Uno Uno, Constantly mashing it, mashing on the on the gas, you you gonna run out of fuel fairly quick. On tour mode, if you kind of take it easy, it's not as bad. But the 911 definitely got it as far as the fuel go. Definitely, no question. Uh, comfort again, 911. This definitely it feels a lot more sporty, a lot more rough, more of a of how do you say? A tight feel, uh, hard, definitely rough ride. But it fits the character of the car. It's muscle. That's expect that. I kind of miss them days though. Back in the days, they used to throw them bench seats on, on muscle cars. I'm kind of shocked that they didn't kind of go with with the times when they when they came out with this one. Again, it's it's not uncomfortable, but in comparison to the 911. The 911 got it. I love this car though. This uh, this is the car, in my opinion. ZL1 all the way. ZL1 till the end. This is, you know, I, I don't know. I, I really don't see me getting 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 out of this car, or selling it, etc. This this is what I want. I want this forever. It's definitely a, the the best. It, it feels good. It looks good. You know, I definitely felt important in the Carrera. I felt, you know, felt successful. This is more like you went to the store and you got what you wanted. <laughs> uh, great look. What is it, reliability? I kinda, I 
I'm gonna lean towards more of this when it comes to maintenance, etc. cetera, the, the ZL1 got it. I can't do a 911 base. It's just too, too basic. I, I, I love the car, it was cool. Definitely a, a, a nice experience. I'm, you know, I, no regrets on driving that car. Every car is unique in its own way, but I definitely expected more. And it's crazy hearing it from, from non-car enthusiasts, like the wife, you know, she don't really care about cars. She's definitely a lot more attentive ever since we got together because I love cars so you know it's it's like she's like naturally learning about cars and, and knowing what to look for blind spot you know the features etc all that stuff she's knowing what to look for so she even said it you know so when you hear somebody say something like that you know it's like they, they, they were wow it's a Porsche you know when they first saw it but then they ugh. You don't got this, you don't got that. You understand? That's that's you know, for somebody to kind of peep that, that's that's not into cars, you know, says a lot. Definitely speak values. And I again we we're not trying to ish on Porsche, but I definitely expected a lot more. And that's kind of why to me the ZL1 all the way. ZL1 again, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Performance. Performance is number one. By having all the features, that right there was just icing on the cake. Definitely didn't expect to have ventilated seats in here. And short disclaimer, we got no tires. We did a well balance. The car definitely feels like it's supposed to. We're not scared to mash on the gas no more. But hopefully have an issue anymore. No more boo-boos until these wear off. <laughs> but love the sharpness of this car. This car is definitely a lot more sharp with turning. Everything is just precise. And with these new tires, I got a video on, on what kind of tires I, I, I purchased on the car and the experience, the cost, etc. Go, go watch that. The car definitely hooks better, you know, tires. Tires play a major role in, in how the car drives, so it's definitely whipping the way it's supposed to. Well, the car is small, you know, fit through everywhere. Can't go wrong. But ZL1 is a great value. That's ZL1 all the way. Chevy King. stuff is out the window that doesn't matter you got we got cameras you know who cares about visibility uh what else but the importance that's that's the only, that's about the only thing that really bugs me is how important this car is this car i feel like doesn't get the recognition it deserves and about getting rid of it no do i uh what else would i be looking at that's that's a hard one unless i got the the coin to spend on something like a lambo but really after this is either you you go low or you go super high it's really it's hard to go in between and 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 say okay it was a good buy only because there's really nothing on the level of this let's say worth worth getting a gt500 is not worth getting it's a much better performance car like a much more a better balanced car than this i would say but I wouldn't leave this to go get that. To get this after owning a Scat Pack, it's a jump. But a Hellcat, you know, with all due respect, I love the Hellcats and all, but I don't think that's a that's a good trade-off. 350, GT350, not a good trade-off. Nah, it's either, you know, after this, it is the Turbo S. It is, you know, uh, like a Lamborghini, but it has to be, in a Vintador, it can be a Gallardo or, or it can be a Huracan. I don't think so. You know, you're going you gonna to lack a bunch of things. You're going to miss out on a couple of things. Even though, and a Vintador is going to give you that, that rock. You know what I mean? Yes, it was a 
great step up. I, I don't regret it. The hell with with. With, 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 with space I know what I got It's an SV or SVJ A Ventador base model basically It's a Fish It's a Lambo You know A Ferrari Not And again This is just this is my personal opinion It has to be something You know More of a, a, a Of a crazier level After this Because this is a crazier level This is a crazy level in itself ZL1 all the way